Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to show you how to repair holes that you have in the door. This door is made of metal so we're going to show you how to repair the holes up in the top here and we're going to show you how to remove this, uh, this door knocker here and we're going to fill in the holes and it'll be just like it was never there before. Alright so let me show you what kind of tools you're going to need and what kind of equipment you're going to need to get it done. You don't really need a lot, you're going to need some Bondo such as the kind that you do with the, the regular body work on a car. You're going to need a, uh, a trowel or some kind of a, uh, um, a device to actually smooth in the Bondo. We're going to need a hammer and a nail set or something to dent the door slightly. And of course we're going to need some sandpaper. So let me bring you in. I'm going to show you what I have here and then we're going to get started. So uh, all right, let's take a look. Okay, this is an example of what kind of tools you're going to need to get this job done. You're going to need a hammer and something to dent the door a little bit where the hole is because we need to recess that hole a little bit. We're going to need some a bondo that you would, you would use to do body work on a car. A sanding block. If you don't have a sanding block it's okay. You can do it by hand. A pair of scissors to cut your sandpaper unless you have the sandpaper that's previously cut such as this that's made specifically for the sanding block. Um, we're going to need a screwdriver possibly to remove what's on the door now and a scissor to cut this sandpaper if you're going to cut it. Uh, some trowels to put the Bondo on there and if you don't have trowels you can just cut a piece of cardboard and use cardboard as well. So we are going to use the cardboard here to put our Bondo on it so we can mix it. Bondo comes in two different, uh, two different uh, containers. One is the actual material itself, the Bondo, and the other is a hardener such as this here. When you put the hardener into the Bondo, you have about three or four minutes of working time before it starts to set up. So uh, only mix enough that you can do within that three or four minutes of time. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to the door itself right over here. And you can see that this hole there was probably something here at one time that ripped out. So we're going to dent this in slightly so that we can sand this down with sandpaper and then put our Bondo on. Remember, it's very important that you sand all of the paint off because the Bondo only sticks really well to, uh, to an unpainted area, to metal. All right, same thing here. We're going to take this door knocker off and we're going to sand this all down and then we'll continue. Right, so we're just going to sand it down really well until we have all of the metal showing on the door itself, such as this. Now remember, when you're sanding it, you, the, the, when you first sand it, you use the very coarse grit, which is a 60 or an 80, and you sand it down until you get it to the metal. Okay, so now once you have it all cleaned down like this, we're going to grab a rag, a damp rag I might add, it doesn't have to be wet, just damp, and clean off the area that you're going to be actually doing the, uh, the repair to. Okay, so now that that's cleaned off, we're going to let that dry. Now we're going to mix the, uh, the, uh, the Bondo and the, uh, the hardener, and we're going to put that on there. So uh, all right, let me show you how to mix it up. Okay, so now... You, it, it, it's personal preference what kind of a Bondo that you use to do this. I, I just happen to pick one up from one of the big box stores around here and that's what I'm using. Alright, so now we're going to take our uh, utility knife or spackle knife, whatever you have, to take some of the Bondo out. And 
and we're just going to put a little bit on here. We don't need a lot, just what we're going to be working with right now. This is more than enough to do that repair, actually. Now, we're going to cover our Bondo back up because it, it, it will dry out. So we're just going to tap that down. Okay, now our, our hardener, you have to read the directions on the back over here. It'll tell you how much hardener to use. Uh, just remember that when you use it, it is going to start to dry from the time you put this hardener on. You have about three, maybe four minutes of working time. So now we're just going to put a little bit like this. And then we're going to mix it all together. And you'll notice that the, the entire um, Bondo material changes color. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Once you have it mixed, then we're going to go up and we're going to put it on. All right, now when you put this on, you want to push it into the hole so it actually goes in to the hole itself. Okay, so now after the Bondo has dried a little bit, we're gonna come up here with our, 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 our 80 grit or 60 grit, whatever you have, and we're just gonna sand it down very lightly until it's fairly even. You can use your hand like this, or you can use your sanding block. Now we are using a very rough grit paper, just so you remember that. All right, now we're going to mix up a little bit more. We're going to take care of this area here one more time. So let's do that right now. Okay, so now that we have our, uh, our additional Bondo mixed back up, we're going to put a little bit more on it to fill in this area right here. Remember, you only have a couple of minutes of working time. Okay, now we're just going to let this dry one more time, and once it dries, we're going to sand it with the, uh, the 80 grit or 60 grit paper, and uh, then we'll be finished with that. And then I want to just point this out to you too, I'm sure you know this, but whenever you're dealing with these, um, the, the Bondo, such as we have right here, you want to make sure that you clean all of your instruments off, because once it dries, Once it dries, it's just like cement. So make sure you clean off all your instruments. So let me clean these off and we'll come back and we'll continue with this. Okay, so now while this up here is drying, we're gonna continue on this right over here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove some of this, uh, um, this paint that's on here so we can fill these holes in. Now we're just going to dent this in very slightly. Now 
All right, now we have these dented in. Next thing we're going to do is let's go up and finish sanding this, and we're going to put more bondo on the uh, on the bottom part where the uh, door knocker was. So let's grab our uh, our heavy grit paper. Remember the sixty or ninety. Okay, and now that feels very smooth. I can't feel any lines on the side of it where it blends into it. So I'm confident that this is going to be a nice, smooth repair. We're going to let it dry a little bit more, and then we're going to come in with a uh, 320 or a 400, and we're going to sand it one final time. So uh, let's do that in just a minute. Okay, let me mix up the batch and we're going to fix that, uh, that hole where the knocker was. Okay, now that we have it mixed up again, we're going to push it into the hole. Remember, push it in so that it actually fills in inside there. Remember, you only have a couple of minutes of time before it starts to dry. So once you have it on, you want to smooth off the edges and try to get it as smooth as possible. Remember, it's a lot easier to put an additional thin coat on than it is to try to sand it off. Sanding it off sometimes can be a little bit more time consuming. Not that it's impossible, but a little more time consuming. All right, so we're going to smooth the ends off. And you'll feel when it starts to get dry already because it gets a little bit sticky, which is exactly what it is right now. So we're just going to do it like that. Okay, now we're just going to let this dry a little bit. And once it dries, then we'll come back and we'll sand this one. And that one we're going to sand with either 330, uh, 320, 400. Remember, the higher the number, the finer the paper. So I would use the, uh, the higher number because it is a finer grit. All right, so uh, let the, let's, the, let's let this dry a little bit and we'll come right back. Okay, so now before it sets up too hard, we're just gonna sand it very lightly to take off all of the high imperfections. So we're just gonna sand it very lightly now, not too hard, just to try to get it as fairly smooth as possible. I'm just feathering the edges down so that it meets into the door so that you don't see any bumps. A lot of times you just go by your hand, you can tell by feeling it where is a high spot and where is a low spot. Okay, so you can see the low areas right here, you can see where it's a little bit discolored. So now we're going to mix up another batch and put a very, very thin coat on it, and then we're going to get this finished off. So let me mix it up, and then we'll come right back and put it on. Okay, now that we have it mixed up, we're going to put our, our final coat on just to, to fill in those little spots right there. Okay, we'll let that dry. We'll come back and sand it. And then we're going to hit it with the 320 or the 400. 
and uh, we'll smooth this thing off. So let's let that dry and we'll come right back. Okay, that's it. You can see now it's fairly smoothed down. We're just gonna let it dry thoroughly. Once it dries 100%, then we're gonna come in here with our uh, 320, uh, 340, 400, whatever, a very fine paper, and we'll finish this off uh, so it'll actually be perfect. So, uh, all right, let's let it dry up thoroughly and uh, we'll come right back. Okay, now that, now that it's thoroughly dried, we're going to come in here with our 400 and we're going to sand it nice and smooth. It'll tell you right on the back of the sandpaper, in case I didn't point it out to you before, it tells you what the grid is there. 400 is an extremely very, very light sandpaper, so that way it makes everything nice and smooth. So we're going to get in here with a sanding block and we're going to finish this off. All right, so that's it. We will take some, before we put any paint on this, we are gonna take, we are gonna take some, uh, some primer. What are you doing down there, huh? Yeah, that's better. No. Nope. That's better. Okay, now before we put any paint on here, of course, we are gonna, we are gonna prime this with primer so that way it sticks really well. Bare metal needs to have primer on it. You can't just paint on the, on the, on metal with regular paint. So you want to definitely put some primer on it, and then you're good to go. You're ready to paint the door. All right, so that is how you remove a door knocker as if it was never there before. All right. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.